who is going to perform her piece Cutting Edge, or an excerpt from her piece Cutting Edge. Um, and Michelle's got a very specific question for you to bear in mind, um, as well as the other questions you'll be thinking about. Would this piece be enhanced by African drumming and dance? Okay, it's a specific question. I'll give you Michelle Hubbard and Cutting Edge. inner room where secret ruby jewels glisten perfectly hidden from the eastern western world my central tomb is lined with hieroglyphics etched sacrificial blood ritualizing womanhood secrets I don't understand. I was born and raised with Western ways. I wasn't scarred by my early days. Not until that six weeks holidays came. They placed me on an aeroplane, whisked me away, warned me to behave. They gave the most precious parts of me to Mama Africa. Mama Africa. Mama Africa. Land of my roots and my culture. Land of my roots and my culture. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I to question ancient tradition? Bonds broken. Every bone in my body told me it was wrong. I couldn't comprehend what was going on in a strange land. How could I be strong? <sighs> NHS cuts. NHS staff cuts. NHS staff cuts the private parts of a girl's body.
trying to repair the damage caused in another country. Sing. I'm not in a girl band. So what kind of girl do you think I am? Imagine I'm stood here completely undressed. I'll invite you first to stare at the curves of my breasts and then as I open my big thighed legs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beg, beg, beg you to stop before you go any further. Just like the girls who've been victims of murder, torture, abuse, rape, any situation we couldn't escape. Will you sip from the trickle that leaks from my nipples as it tries to feed you the facts about breast punching, breast ironing, the thudding, crushing, thudding, crushing, girls, are experiencing right now in the Cameroons. Bosoms blossoming in bloom. Mothers crushing their daughters' glands to keep them away from the eyes and the hands of any lustful, unlooking mans. By pummeling them with a heavy Wooden pestle. Usually used to mash tubers into a pulp. Now crushing the buds of becoming an adult. Sexual order. Keep the women in order. Sexual order. Keep the women in order. Sexual order. Keep the women in. Keep the women in. Keep the women in. India. Pakistan. Picture, if you can, the girls whose face has been replaced by scarves that are covering scars following another acid throwing and the reconstructive surgery the luckier ones are undergoing an increase in honor killings of innocent women whose last breath was a dowry death Girls publicly stoned for wanting to learn and have minds of their own. No, I won't leave this alone. Yes. We still need reminding about the ancient tradition of foot binding. Submission bandaged in silk and satin. Women suffering permanent crippling because their men find it sweet to see tiny, dainty 
lotus feet. Disabling her from working, even if she wanted to. A symbol of his wealth, not needing her to. Now my head is just spinning about the craziness happening all over the world. Forced prostitution and sex trafficking of innocent women and girls. And the women bleeding through black and white. Because fifty shades of shite are being slapped into the misses that won't be sexually submissive. So he slips her a date rape pill. She feels nauseous, dizzy, ill. Unable to make her way home, he sexually abuses her and uploads it on his mobile phone. Yes, this is crazy. We can't remain ignorant, which reminds me. Africa isn't a country, it's a continent. They've taught you all to imagine the cost of famine. But no one's asked you to imagine the stench of stale blood. I need you to know the stench of stale blood. Us females, deprived of our femalehood. God save us poor girls that suffer at the hands of the local village butcher who came with their knives and their scissors and their razor to chop off our labia, minor and major. And even more ridiculous, they slice off the clitoris. If, if we don't bleed to death, the wounds that are left will haunt us for the rest of our lives. And as newlyweds, on our wedding nights, Husbands reopen us up with knives. <laughs> what? Can't you handle this? You think I'm trying to take the piss? I only wished that I could. But it stung like hell when I was covered in blood. But if you want to be my lover, if you want to be my lover, if you want to be my lover, don't think that you can slam, 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 slam my body down and wind it all around, slam my body down and wind it all around, if you want to be my lover. Before we go any further, I need you to know I would commit murder in order to save the lives of tiny girl babes raped by men that believe it cures AIDS like oh my days this world is going backwards but me and these words are trying to push 
facts forwards. But if all of this makes you conclude I'm a feminist, speaking up about women's social realities, racism, sexism, segregation, social, sexual and economic exploitation, then there really, really are bigger things by far than the zig zig are. The zig a zig ah of me burning my bra. But maybe your conscience would prefer it if I should just stop right now. Stop right now. Thank you very much. Stop right now. Thank you very much. Stop.